that was Takeover Bars. Yeah. This is the Takeover Files. What's going on, man? It's your boy Lito Takeover. This is the Takeover Files, man. Hey, hold up, dog. My fault, bro. Shit, we're still shaking the hair from you what the what fuck saying? you just did. Praise you God. I'm saying, hey, bro. I like, hey, you, hey, you talking that talk. You feel me? Praise God. Saying? God first, man. Hey, first of all, I want to say we appreciate my dog, Oliver Rothstein, for coming through Takeover Files and yes, sir. Uh, Takeover I appreciate Bars. You, bro. First, I appreciate you. And, and, and real quick, bro, before, before you get into it, bro, because I got to say, you feel me? Um, you working, bro. Yeah. And you've been in the lab, from what I know. Yeah. You've been in the lab for a long time. Yeah. yeah. And, and this has all been uh, uh, properly planned. Oh, you yeah. You know what they say, prior proper planning uh, prevents piss poor performance. Oh, yeah. There you go. So, so it's, it, it's evident because the way you prepare, why once you jumped in to, to the industry, why shit is happening? Why it's happening? You feel exactly. me? So I want to exactly. just you want me to say uh, uh, we we commend the work. You feel me? I and we happy that, to man. finally con- connect our journey with yours oh, yeah. and to see what happened moving forward, man. So my dog, feel me? What's up, bro? How you feeling What's today, up, man? man? What's up? Listen, man. I'm blessed. I'm happy to be here, man. Yo, before I get started, man, I want to give a big shout out to Lido right now. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. Just, listen, Appreciate we had a, we had an hour and a half conversation before we even started this Facts. situation. About, <laughs> about how his journey and him putting this together a platform so that he could put people in the right place where they want to be with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, cause it's not hard. It's it's hard to put yourself on a pedestal or put yourself on on in a, in a right situation so that somebody can hear your music or somebody can actually like take heed to what's going on and the work that you're putting in. So, then by him putting the platform together. Yo, man, this 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 your shot. If you if you if you sing, that's why I said if you sing, you rap, whatever you do, get up here, man. Like 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 be 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 proud of your craft and and, and tap in with Lido because he doing something major right now. I ain't never seen nobody do this like the way he doing it in the passion, the level of passion that you got uh, with this I shit. You feel what I'm saying? Bro. Like that's shit, what bro. that's what that's what we need, man. We need more of this so that we could we could start to get out of that sliding on shit and doing all this weird shit. Like yo, we 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 Philly. That's where that's where I'm from originally, the city of Philadelphia, originally West Philadelphia, but. All this sliding and shit that we doing, like yo, like we supposed to be getting money. We right, a city, right. we a city of money and go getters. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Fly niggas, girls, cool right, shit, vintage, vintage, vintage Versace shit. That's what we. That's what we come from. You feel what I'm saying? And the fact that it transitioned to us, 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 us becoming so mindless with one another and perpetuating so much violence, it's like no, nah, like yo, like. They look like you. They going through the same struggles you going through. You feel what I'm saying? They lights been off too. They water been off too. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So it's like we going through the same struggles and through that we need to tap in with one another. Through that we could we could we could progress and build. That's the foundation. Our struggle is the foundation and shit. You feel what I'm saying? So the second that we say, "All right, boom, I'm not going to slide on him. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to reach out to him and say, "This is what I want to do, bro. I know we I know we beefing right now, but at the end of the day, we could put that shit to his side so that we could damn let, let, let's get back to the young boys so they don't gotta they don't gotta they don't gotta worry about school clothes and supplies. Let's let let's put our bread together that we put even if it's trapping, like y'all put your trap bread together and, and feed the homeless in the area. That's fucking major, bro. The city not even doing that. So the fact that y'all on these platforms and, and, and y'all perpetuate that, it would people would tap into y'all and then we could get we could get back to Building our city up and being the city of brotherly love, cause all this slide shit drawing, man. Y'all hitting grandmoms, two year old babies and shit. Like, no, nah, man, that ain't what we on right now. I, I, I'm sorry to nah, take nah, over nah, the job. Nah, like, nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? You but that's, that's a real shit, bro. Yeah, shit that man, need to be said. Like, niggas need to niggas, uh, and I and I don't want y'all to ever think that y'all need to be on that type time with not, one another. And, and, I, and I'm from outside, so I understand sometimes shit get shit get critical. Sometimes shit get volatile. But at the end of the day. What we not what's not going on is that it's not it's not it's not men grown men coming coming to the situation coming to the table and saying yo we need to wrap this shit out like men you feel what I'm saying like I know what happened I know it transpired but at the end of the day we can't keep doing this shit to one another because we're gonna crash out you feel what I'm saying regardless right. regardless what goes on we crash out you know no 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 that's a fact bro and that's important you said that bro because and it's like even even I so from my perspective you know what I'm saying on the media side and having this platform. And with, you know, tapping into the younger culture and what they're talking about, the music, the drill shit. And right. it's like, I be having to ask them some, sometimes. I And, and everybody who, who we had on the show that's, that's a drill rapper, they always say, yo, I'm not a drill rapper, you feel me? I'm an artist. This is just 
right now what type of time on our right generation now. is on. You feel right. me? And it's like you, I respect that. You feel me? Even understanding that some shit they saying, and I'm just speaking as far as the entertainment aspect. Some shit that they saying, you feel me, is fabricated for entertainment. You feel right. me? Because this is what people just love. Fucking what they say? Uh, uh, controversy sells. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it sucks that that's naturally us, but I feel like if, if you know, all it takes is a couple, a couple, a couple leaders to, to a couple hood leaders, right. squad leaders, you right. feel me, to, I mean, take those initiative steps, but it's been a lot of trauma, you feel me? Yeah. yeah but um, um, real quick, bro, let's talk a little bit about you, man. <laughs> you feel me? Let's talk a little bit about you. Um, So, so would you say you're in love with music, bro? When I say I'm, in, I'm absolutely in love with music because... I would say up until about six months ago, it's like I was just throwing bread at the fucking wall. That's what it felt like. You feel what I'm saying? Like when you paying for, yeah. when you paying for um, beats and when you paying for videography and production and mixing, mastering and shit. Um, it's a bill, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like especially when you when you when you perpetuate yourself off good business, mm. that's how you start off the situation. So you want to pay everybody price. You feel what I'm saying? But by paying everybody price, that shit that shit start running up. You no, feel no, what I'm no, saying? No, so. Right. At the time, it was like, damn, like I'm, I'm spending, I'm spending thousands of dollars with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, when you look at the resonation and if people listening to it, it's like, damn, why is the people not tapping in? Shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? It's not that you don't believe in your content. It's like, yo, I believe in this shit wholeheartedly. That's why I'm even at the stage where I'm spending money right, at this right. shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like you got to understand the back end work that come into it, PR, marketing, press runs, shit like that. It's not a just about of, dropping the music, exactly. making the music. Exactly, it's a it's a it's a culmination of things that complete an artist when it comes to them dropping a project. That's why sometimes you might see an artist; it might take them two years to drop. They're like, right. "Damn, he's not working." Like, no, it's not that he's not working. It's that it's being properly planned, and then once it's rolled out, it's like, "Oh shit!" Like Kendrick, Kendrick took five years to drop, bro. But when that shit dropped, Grammys. You feel what I'm saying? It started it started popping right back again for him because they knew they understood how to present Kendrick Lamar to the public. Right. When to present when Kendrick to Lamar. also. Exactly. So it's like me doing that, it was like, damn, I'm 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 spending all this bread, but it's not translating into nothing. So it was like once the once once we started getting like record record deals and people starting to call up started to call us up from the industry, it was like, damn, like it finally start it's like the light at the end of the tunnel type situation. It's like it's finally starting to translate into something that's gonna become tangible. You feel right, what I'm saying? Right. So but right. if I didn't if I didn't love the music, bro, I would not have even gotten to that point because it takes consistency and hard work. You gotta stay right. in shit. This is your ninth year anniversary. You had to stay consistent Hell in this yeah. shit to even get to this point. You feel what I'm saying? And you still got more work to do. So it's like, I mean, you gotta love this shit. You know what I mean? Right, you definitely gotta love this shit. And especially to get through those those rainy days and those those whew, Right. You know, when when the, when your days start feeling like audio signals and the ups and the downs. When it's not as easy to do. <laughs> yeah, shit. When mm -hmm. you don't want to get up sometimes. Um, um so so clearly you are in love with music. You remember that moment that you really like fell in love with it. And not even necessarily saying this is what I got to do, mm -hmm. but just like, damn, like, I love this shit. Damn, this, this shit makes me feel a certain way. Like, you feel me? Right. I would say I was a young boy. I don't even remember the radio station. It was either, it was one of them Jones, Part 99, 103, one of them Jones. And it was doing like, it was like a weekly rap battle. And they would have somebody on there, they would rap, and they would let people call in, and then mm -hmm. they would spit their rap, and then whoever rap was best, they would be the person that come up next week and spit another right, rap. Right, right. So I'm like, yo, fuck that. I got to get on that jump. <laughs> I got to get on that jump, right? So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing. So I spit this shit for my sister, and my sister was like, yo, that shit fire. Like, I didn't even know you was rapping like mm. that. So I'm confident now. So I'm like, yo, fuck it, yo. Everybody called the radio station at the same time. You got to think everybody in the city yeah, everybody trying, trying to, get trying on to do time. the same shit, right? So, so next time, make, make we calling this shit. My mom, my sister, and I'm calling. And lo and behold, my fucking mom, my mom gets That's the gets through. No, but no, bro, she fucked up. She was like, the way that she, she didn't know that she got through. So she talking like. Like she having a conversation. She calling me her. Uh, she calling me my nickname that she got for me and shit oh, on the shit, air. She calling so you Buki butt type shit. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Already she on the like, jaw. <laughs> I'm like, yo, mom, hang the jaw. <laughs> she like Buki. Yo, I told, Pookie, we on it. Buki. I told her, yo, please hang that jaw. You will not. You will not. My first. Situation in hip hop will not they be this. They would have fried the shit out you. <laughs> right. they, it don't matter how hot you would have been. 
They would have. I could have literally been Kendrick shit. Lamar. That shit would have been a dub. No, nah, facts. <laughs> fact. It was you was Pookie. Pookie from the radio. Pook, right, right. Pookie Bookie. On the um, radio uh, job. Shout out to shout out to Liz, man. I love I love my mom, man. She's super supportive. Nah, but hold on, real quick, real quick, bro. We gonna go to a we gonna go to a commercial break, bro. It's your boy Little Take over the hustle. Yeah, we be right back. I used to think that I was destined to lose, till I turned up the pilot. I'm turning one or two. They say God did it like Colin. The lot of cane compressed little cut like Lorena Bobbitt. Your favorite rapper frauding. He died being iconic. Had a thing for ratchet bitches and bonnets. Who knew she could line it? They caught him with his pants down. They straight to the safe in the closet. But it was contractual paperwork and the label ain't make the deposit. That's why I'm married to the streets. I dip my ring in the fire like Hobbit. I could carry like Frodo. Plug said he having a cell. We could eat off the bogo. Hard press and soft serve. I'm calling my shit to Froyo. Make sure you match the glove when you're hearing this. When a recipe call for butter, I use a quarter stick. Pop with white gold, I miss the butter whisk. Yeah. All right, so bro, now when it comes to you know your 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 style, uh, uh, your just your your music, you feel me? Now you're not like the average, you're not the average rapper, you feel me? Like right. you're not about to say sugar it, you know what I'm saying? You're not right. rapping like these dudes. We said you talk different for a reason, you feel me? Right. So so, what? When did you find kind of your your style, your niche, your flow, your? I would say. <clears throat> Cause it's a journey from from top to bottom. For so sure, you always start start one way, and then as you start to become influenced, and you start to become a broader get a broader range of music that you listen to, it influences you. You get what I'm saying? And me, me personally, I was I was heavy Styles P, Kiss, like I'm listening to that shit, and I'm going crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Like first time I heard Immortal. I'm like, yo, this nigga Styles might really be the hardest nigga I mind you, in the world. And mind you, this when Beans and them was rolling. So mm-hmm. Mac, Mac, we already know how Mac carry it. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like to for for them to be able to like be on the same level as them in regards to like gritty street rap, that shit, that shit, I was I was hooked. You feel what I'm saying? And fast forward, it's like I'm very, very well articulated. You feel what I'm saying? So right. when it comes to like how I position my words and, and and things that I say, it's I can't even it's it's from God, bro. I can't even I can't even put put a put a finger on it or no shit like that. Like I just know that every day that I'm a, I'm a stew in the life, and I'm con- I'm constantly trying to learn. And as I learn, I become better in my artistry. You was you, you was a smart motherfucker in school, wasn't you? Sure. You was a smart nigga. Yeah, yeah. I knew he was a smart nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I ain't gonna I was lie. A, I was a nigga. I was a nigga with all A's, but the worst behavior grades. Type shit. I feel that. So I, I wouldn't get my ass whooped, but I couldn't do shit. He was jab. <laughs> he was jab. You just, you just described the shit out of jab. That's funny as shit. He was a class clown on the low, like the sneaky leaf. Type like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody knew he was a funny nigga until you got to know about. Oh, he's a dickhead. Type shit. <laughs> no, no, that's a good job, bro. So, so as far as with music, bro, like, um, was there ever a time in your career where like you really just almost said, "I'm cool," and, and if so. What brought you back? No. Once mm. I once I made the conscientious decision to say, yo, this is what I want to do for real, it was like, no, like, and it's been hard times. Like, he'll tell you, like, it's been down times. Like, I remember when I was building my first studio, like me, him, and his pop, we built that shit with our own two hands. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Like, and I and I had just quit my job. This was like 2017, 2018. I had quit my job. I was fucked up, you feel what I'm saying? But it's like I know that I wanted to do this music shit. So it was like, yo, we gotta, we gotta figure sh- it out. Yeah, we gotta shake and move. You feel what I'm saying? We gotta move around. And what's crazy was that when we built it with our own hands, it felt like, yo, this shit is grueling, bro. Like I'm doing all this shit. And it's like 99% of the motherfuckers that say they wanna do rap or get into the industry don't make it. So it's like when you got that in the back of your mind, it's like, damn, I'm doing all this shit. I don't got no bread. I'm doing, you feel what I'm saying? It could become demoralizing, bro. Like you look at that shit and you be like, no, like I'm, 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 this shit is over with. But again, man, that's why you, that's why you build a team, man. All my alphas, man. Shout out to Heme History. Shout out Buick B, Dustiano, my boy Tato. Like, like that's the, that was, that's what kept me going. Feel what I'm saying? When I, when I, when I got with them, and and we and and these is these is these is lifelong friends type shit, you feel what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But we all conscientiously made the decision to do music. It was like them down times I would go to them. 
You feel right, what I'm saying? Right. That, they would reinforce it like, yo, bro, this shit gonna pop. We gonna get there. And it just it just made me supremely confident in this shit, man. Like, this God work. You feel what I'm saying? So as long as we, we, we stay steadfast in our belief in God, it's gonna transpire how we want it to transpire. And, and, and I just been in awe of how that shit happened, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, God is, God is a real thing. So, so 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 real quick, bro. Cause um, just just in in a, in a real quick summarize. Um, why do you think it work? It's working. I think that it's working because again, like the the two the two key components is consistency and willingness to do. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Like you can stay consistent, but you got to really say in your head, "Yo, this is what I want to do." Manifest like, that shit. Too. And some people, like you'll walk up to them and you say, "Damn, what you get into?" Like, "Oh no, I don't get into shit." They might make movies, make music, but they they don't they not confident in it enough to say, "This is what I do." You feel what I'm saying? I'm I will scream that shit at the top of the fucking mountaintops. Mm. This is what I do. I put these bars together. I put this music together. I curate. I, I curate that vibe. And that energy with the music shit. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody can tell me different. Nobody, I don't give a fuck if you don't like the music. No, that shit was trash. Cool. You feel what I'm saying? That's not gonna make me stop because again, this is something that's God inspired. God behind me doing this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when has God ever felt? You feel what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody say, yo, God, you you a failure. Like, no, like God put this shit in front of us. So it's like at the end of the day, when I know that I got that type of energy behind me, it's nothing that can stop me, bro. Nah, hey, so look, we about to get out of here, right? But before we do get out of here, you feel me? Um, this part one, you feel me? We got part two coming up next week. You know what I'm saying, and um, I do want to know, bro. Uh, you got a new single that's about to be released from your from your uh, oh from, yeah, f- from the label. Oh yeah, man. Real shout quick, out, cause sh- we got a minute. Oh yeah, shout Talk out old soul music. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm supposed to be keeping it under wraps, but fuck it. Fuck you feel it. what I'm saying? We thugging it. I mean, next week, man, I got Falsies coming out for my new debut album, The Philadelphian on Old Soul Music. Um, featuring Ito and my boy 38 Special, man. Two Rochester legends, man. It's ridiculous, man. Produced by Michael Parkinson, one of the one of the top producers out of UK. This shit is is nasty. It's about to listen, get y'all pens ready, man. That's what type of time I'm on, man. Get y'all fucking pens ready. I don't care if you got a catalog. I don't <laughs> care if you think you the best. Get y'all fucking pens ready, cause I'm coming. All right. Real shit. Hey, bro, where can they find you at, dog? Listen, man, tap in. Listen, my handle on IG is Oliver. Rothstein. That's R O T H S T E I N. That's Oliver. Rothstein. Now, R-O-T-H-S-T-E-I-N. I got a little list, you feel me? So if I say Roth, Rothstein. Yeah. Rothstein. I'm just making sure, you feel me? Just yeah, in case. No, you got it. As I heard, I said it earlier, and he looked at me like, nigga, don't fuck my no, shit. No, I probably wasn't <laughs> even looking. It's the shades. It looked like I was looking there. Yeah, I probably, well, I probably saw my reflection. <laughs> oh, shit, then I fuck it up, bro. Tight but shit. no, bro. Hey, bro, uh, I appreciate you for coming on. Um, yes, sir. And real quick, you feel me? Like we said, we're going to see you back next week. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? He oh. just burned down the takeover for us. He ain't there. No, he was coming back next week. But we just told this nigga, we welcome you back next week. So we're going to see you next week. We back. I am the hustler of the year. That's your boy, Little Takeover. This is the Takeover Files. Tap in, nigga. Y'all Tap know what the fuck the on, fuck man. in. Let's get it.